This healthy recipe is very simple. First, you start with your base. Here, I'm using some seeded yellow squash that's been sliced into these little slivers with some sliced broccoli stock. When you're making a base, you just really need to think about some firm vegetable that will hold up against all the steam and high temperature cooking that you're going to be using with this fish. So you want something that will be sturdy and won't move around, like potatoes, onions, mushrooms, or carrots. Positioning your fish really just means put your fish down on top of the base. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory. When you season and garnish, uh, you just you can use things that you wouldn't be able to put down on the base, but you really want to use to flavor your fish. Here, I am using a mixture of chopped garlic, shallots, and onions, then some slivered cherry tomatoes, and some fresh cilantro. I like to use fresh herbs here because they provide, again, more moisture to cook the fish, and it will just get some more flavor moving around in that steam. You can always use dried, I just think fresh gives a better result. And the tomatoes here are somewhat acidic, and I like using some acidic flavoring in this layer, like sliced oranges or lemon. It really helps bring out the fish, and it's really nice to use in this parchment recipe. Liquid washes are pretty simple. You can use, I use white wine and olive oil, but you can really use almost anything, like water or spritz of lime juice or even some type of fruit juice that you want to put onto the fish. And then you can pepper it like I am and even add salt, but I try to use as little salt in my food as possible. When wrapping up, try to make sure you get the most efficient seal possible because you don't want any steam escaping. The goal is to wrap it as tightly as possible so that all the steam gets trapped inside. When you do this, it will puff up in the oven and it will really push against these seals. You need to make sure they're strong. Um, you have to roll up the sides pretty tightly too, which can be pretty difficult, but you really should just try as best as you can. When I do this, I like to use a paper clip. It really helps safeguard this dish to make sure the steam doesn't escape, because then you, your fish would be all dried out, and that's not good. To recap, make your base, place your fish, then season and garnish. Do a liquid wash, wrap it up. Your oven should be preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Place your packets on a baking tray and then bake for 15 to 20 minutes. My halibut here was pretty thick, so I baked it for 18 minutes, but you can make your own judgment based on how thick your fish is. When your fish is done, take a pair of scissors and just cut open your parchment envelope. Be careful because there's some hot steam that may come out and you don't want to get burned.